Hello everybody and welcome back to my Fallout New Vegas playthrough. Where the last time we had gone ahead and gotten Dean Domino and now we have to go pick up Chrissy. Uh, whatever her name is. Uh, uh, Christine. Okay. So obviously let's go, let's go get them. Hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called r slash realmhq. Other than that, back to your regularly scheduled program. Alright. Oh, um, one thing to note. Because again, the whole idea is my character is Carl Weasel. <laughs> He's the one that, that's the savvy businessman and all that. Here's the problem. As much as I'm aware that there's a heist going on, I don't know what the hell they're trying to steal. Watch out if you see a prize lying around. Ghost people leave supplies as traps. Okay, that's interesting. Anyway, uh, I don't know what's in the vault, so I'm not going to stake anything on it right now. Besides that, all my caps are back in that bunker. As long as soon as I can go ahead and put Elijah into a grave or something, better. But otherwise, the issue is that I'm just trying to get everyone out. <laughs> At the very least, I can collect supplies to sell when I get back out. Otherwise, these three are better to me alive than dead, to be honest. Alright, let's go. Just wanted to get that across in case. The village comp speakers have aged poorly, like the Madre. Junk. The speakers emit a signal that'll start off your caller if you stay too long. There are damaged speakers and shielded ones. The damaged ones you can destroy at range. Don't get close. You, you can't sure switch them off like a radio. To rub this place. Guess green is in the blood. I don't know. Yeah, that's just ideas. Personally, I don't know what's in the vault. Could just be a bunch of tin cans for all I know. Well, Sinclair seems to have been a rich man. It doesn't mean he left behind riches. Oh, let's see. There's the clinic through there. Obviously not going to go through that. There's not really a point otherwise I'm going to explore, so let's go this way. Going to need a hand here. I'm sorry, Dean. Okay. He said it. Getting real tired of this. No offense, but you guys know the law. What's the weird wasteland? Something nearby is a weird wasteland. Okay, if you're not aware of the weird wasteland perk, basically it means that there's a bunch of stuff that wouldn't normally be in the game, but is because of the fact I have the thing enabled. So there's some stuff that ends up being changed. That's tip. God damn, I really. You want to take some of this stuff? Probably so some message or something Don't like the Wolverines and all that. Yeah, I don't see the Wild Wasteland. I doubt it was something Dean said. Okay. Alright. Energy 
yourselves. You sure came a long way to rob this place. Guess greed is in the I mean, it is. The problem is, I don't know what exactly to rob this place of. I mean, if you told me what was in the vault or stuff like that, but I'm pretty sure you don't even know what's in the vault. Do you know what's in the vault, Dean? Yeah, yeah, I get it. God, you guys are just falling down. You're fine because you at least don't constantly keep giving me shit. <sighs> Selling me it's my fault I'm here. My fault. My fault. It's so stupid that you kept fucking saying that. It's like, dude, I get it. Shut up. If I'm going to be exploring this place, I at the very least don't want to constantly hear, It's your fault you're here. It's your fault you're here. I got it the first fucking time you told me. <laughs> I'm the one who followed the fucking thing. And I accept that. Now shut the fuck up. Anyway. <clears throat> yeah, and, and it's probably just because they don't really have too much to outright say input wise I just wish it I just wish the crowd wasn't always here grew over the years even without cars or factories so something else brought it in I just wish it was stuff like that where it's just stuff I haven't outright heard and I can easily respond to or at least it would be like oh yeah that's interesting I didn't know that When it's just somebody going and telling me, You fucked up! You shouldn't be here, but you fucked up and did it yourself. It's like, dude, shut the fuck up. I'm trying to get through this shit as much as you are. If you could maybe let me fucking think for a minute, I could get us out quicker. I get you don't really have too much to believe with me. There's also the aspect that you're kind of stuck with me on this. Because it's, like he said, that God's uh, collar is active. Oh, he is a part. Okay, good. I need to listen for him to say that. So if he says partner, we're still in his good graces. If he's... It, it, that's the thing. I don't think there's actively anything that tells you he's pissed off at you. It's just... Do you treat him nicely or not? It's pretty much the only thing you gotta go off. Which really fucking sucks. Because it's like, the whole time you're kind of like going like, Alright, Dean, are you on my side? He's just like, I don't know, fucking, why the fuck do you want me to tell you? Because I need to know, otherwise this is all for naught. Sierra Madre is not getting... Nah, neither are you, but we'll be fine. No. Should have never left home. God damn it. Yeah, I swear if you cost me all of my damn locks. We did just save. And it was for nothing. Thanks. At least for the exp exp. Let's 
Sierra Madre is not getting any younger. Neither are you. Dean. There was a jar of residue. As well as the drain, but I'm not gonna take it for now. Okay. Doesn't seem to be anything out right up here. Ooh, there's a stash. Pistol in there left. <clears throat> That's not gonna do too much without ammo. I can't see it. Another you. Actually, let's see. What do we have of that? Huh. I'm pretty sure. Okay, um, is it data on them? Okay. It's gotta be some way you can check, like, your caravan. Like, your deck or something like that. Oh, yeah, the platinum chip. <laughs> I wonder what Doc or what Mr. House thinks of us being out here all the way in the uh, fucking the Sierra Madre. He's probably like, "What the fuck is he doing out there?" He's got the only fucking thing that can revamp my fucking army, and yet he's dicking off like. <laughs> of course, he's probably like, "What the fuck." He just like moved. He just went into this bunker. Oh no, that's Elijah's bunker. And now he's unconscious. God damn it. Hmm. Maybe I should send Securitrons in after him so I can actually retrieve my shit. Nah. I think I uh, think I'll just let him leave it. Cause that's kind of the funny part. I have the chip on me this entire time. And again, I would assume that Mr. House is probably like, what the fuck is he doing? He should have been already back. Okay. Ah, here we go. Like, what the fuck? Why is he all the way out in the Sierra? Run, run, run. Watch for hologram security. Not as nice as the lady at the fountain. Right? What level are they on? They're on second floor, okay. Picking up an emitter signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Okay, don't attack uh, the holograms. Gotcha.
What are we doing here for? This place is... Well, it's haunted. We're here for uh, the lady. Not to love the lake, obviously, but... The fuck? There's a picture. A bunch of headless saps all waiting for the pearly gates. Whoever did this messed up. Yeah. Yeah, there's a reason I don't exactly want Elijah to live. Corpse jar. Sierra Madre chips. <laughs> Anything? No. Seriously. Okay, the gas leak. Admitted three workers from Puesto del Sol's switching station. Exposed to some unidentified airborne toxin from the ventilation system. Cause severe lung and tissue damage. In, um, inhalation isn't the problem. It's absorbed through the skin. Reaching, research, researching its effects, the gas, whatever it is, may be building up in the vents beneath the town. Ask foreman to look into the source before government inspectors do. Safety suit. Chemical suits arrived today. They're bulky, hard to talk, and move in. It was difficult to unlock the claps once in the in place. Had to get one of the staff to help me out of it. I told the construction crew to keep the suits ready while working in the switching station. And to be careful with them. We only have a limited number. I asked Sinclair to order more in the event of a leak in the villa. Repaired cost uh, estimates. For another gas leak to support my case. Didn't need to. He agreed to the request immediately. And asked if he could see the workers and make sure they were alright. Okay, so Sinclair is not exactly an ass. The security holograms shoot out but... of sight. And you can't even hurt them. So, I think... Oh, that one's protected. He all crippled... There we go. You sure came a long way. Damn speakers, they damn the hall. Red light means they're shielded. But Must be where they shut them off somewhere else. I would assume so, yeah. Speakers on the wall are making my nerves do a dance. Exhaustion. Miss Keys and Somnus seems to to have gotten worse, so we ended up ordering the new autodoc upgrades. Must have cost Sinclair a fortune. The new programs for the autodocs. Ameliorative. Ameliorate the effects of the exhaustion. I have sp already spoken to the staff about side effects and the dangers of the prolonged use. I wanted to make sure they weren't using it to pull double shifts. Okay. I think it's attempting to fucking state. It'll leave the effects. And that's why, because there's some of the staff that's attempting to use the auto docks. Oh, I see. She's, she's tired. She has no ability. She's not able to sleep. And the staff is using it. Okay, fucking hell. Sinclair asked if these codes could be downloaded into public dispensers. Codes aren't compatible, unfortunately. He said he'll look into it. I guess his contacts at uh, Big Mountain. Big Mountain. Did we ever hear about a Big Mountain? I don't think so. We'll be getting a call soon. Okay. Got a range of it. Anything of note? Where does that put me? 
<laughs> I lost his unclean living part. Dean has died. I wonder how. Okay. Picking up a new meta signature. Watch for security holograms. Dangerous. Don't shoot them. Attacking them is useless. Okay, so the main thing would just be go through. This is way fucking better than what I got on. Overweighs me by a ton, but what the fuck is this doing here? Let's steal. Mm. I don't really want to give him all that. Not to mention I won't. Okay. Um, I would assume it's actually all my shit here. No, you know what it is? It's the junk. Well, if that's the case, I don't need to find. There's a good chunk of the junk I'm not going to be able to make use of. Which is the turpentine. Toasters. Stones, the tin cans. Drop the platinum chip. <sighs> Sensors. Paperweight, pilot lights. The middle spoon. Comically large spoon. Yeah, we've just been collecting a bunch of shit we don't need. That'll keep. Hot plate, no. Fission, no. Fire hose, no. All these, no. Uh, earnings. Duct tape. Uh, distinctive. Uh, coffee mug. Oh, shoot. We need the coffee mugs. East tree and a Braxo cleaner. Yeah, we'll just keep. We'll just keep gathering them later. Well, since we got a new suit of armor, that'd be great. Anyone who walks in there is gonna be like, "What the fuck? Why is there just a bunch of shit on the floor?" What are we doing here? This place is. Well, it's Damn, it is at the end of the hall. Red light means they're shielded. Must be where to shut them what off somewhere else. Hey, old. The speakers on the wall are making my nerves do a dance. Well, that's upstairs, that's downstairs. This crouch. Of course I get that one first try. Power status. Um, oh, dog. Okay, it's the essential systems powered. Powered. Music of speech is powered. Please inform before shutting down the generator for maintenance. And disengage main power. So that should mean one. As long as the terminals are still working, I don't care. Okay, radios are down. Oh, 
Hey, auto docks are still working. Okay, good. And they got their own generators in case of this. Alright. Well, that does this part. I guess it's about time we head upstairs. Oh. Move a 12 gauge, 20 gauge, erratics, impacts. Yeah, go on, help yourself. Why not? Oh shit, they're still active. Are they? Yes, they are, okay. You don't see anything. Seriously, we should get out of here. The security holograms shoot up. In sight, and you can't even hurt them. You were saying. Doctor's bed. There's a terminal. Dispenser codes. Code for the public dispensers arrived today. Sinclair instructed us to use uh, us in their use of in our instructed us in their use in case of emergency. Should be able to get stims and other treatments from the machines. Sinclair indicated it could dispense more based on the nature of the medical emergency or sickness condition. Among the codes, he kept asking if we could make sure the codes for MedEx was backed up. He must have said it three times. I don't, I don't think he realized it. Must be the stress. Made a backup uh, of the code on this terminal just in case. As a restricted uh, dispenser code uh, for use in the vending machines. So now we can pull that. Alright, the poison, the poison for school. That's the nice part, we don't have to worry about sure. anything in terms of power. That one of us knows what you're doing. There's ten bobby pins? Hell yeah, that's very much appreciated. <sighs> okay. There's a knife. That's quite a useful tool. No, he did not. Mentats. Okay, that's good. Chips. Take the chips. And you. There we go. Alright. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, we now have 45, which is good. War book, Doctor's Bag. They're all pre war books. Oh, that's wine. I thought that was Nuka Cola. Look like it anyway. Appointment calendar uh, Sinclair plus Miss Keys transmitted to Sierra Madre. Transmitted to Sierra Madre. Uh, Domino, or Domino and Miss Keys transmitted to Chief uh, Physician's terminal. Sinclair proposed moving one auto dock to the casino and scheduling visits. 
Sinclair and Greed. Okay. Let's save. I don't want to lose this terminal. Alright, let's see. Not too many. Okay, cousins. Two out of seven. God damn it. Okay, thank you. That's the main difference between Fallout, uh, New Vegas, and 4. And I would guess 3 as well. If you enter one of these guys, it actually will act as a uh, an attempt. Okay, it was Cousins. I don't have a fucking... So it is ING. So it had two, three. <clears throat> it's ING. God damn it. That's why, because I completely lost what the fuck it was supposed to be. So this is why I save. Hey, come on, I got it. Okay, compass, two out of seven. Could be any of them, to be honest. Okay. I'm making it easier, actually, makes it more difficult. Okay, compass, two S's on the end, it is not the two S's. Who's collector? Okay. Appointment calendar. Miss V or Miss Keys showed up today without Sinclair, escorted by Mr. Domino. He explained to me Miss Keys has developed a throat infection. Asked if the auto dock could help. I asked about the Sierra Madre's auto dock. He said he didn't want to alarm Sinclair. Ran some tests. Miss Key's voice is fine. Her loss of voice was more listlessness, symptomatic of excessive medics usage. When I tried to speak to her about it, Mr. Domino intervened. I warned them too much of the chem could render the subject comatose. And Domino laughed. I lost my temper and he said he would return another time when I was in better spirit. Despise that man. Yeah. Domino stepped by, or stopped by to ask about the test results in Vera's voice. He seemed concerned she would lose her voice for the gala event. I told him if Miss K uh, Keys was concerned, she would she should see me, and I would only disclose any medical information to her. I told him the auto docs were more than capable of healing Miss Keys' voice if she developed any throat infection, and we could operate if need be if she tore her larynx. He seemed satisfied by the news, apologized, amazingly enough, and left a bottle of wine as a token of his appreciation. I told him I felt it was inappropriate. He insisted. I dumped it in the trash. You mean the wine I just picked up? Okay. Well, what goes around comes around, round, round. I don't know if anyone's going to get that reference. <laughs> Alright, uh, what we got here? Should be a little bit more left. Huh, okay. Yeah, so they're still on this floor. Uh, security postings. 2.4. Oh, oh. Dude, just as the name implies, provides security. They perform this function better than most conventional security guards. Addendum 2.4. Security has been programmed with the case specific Sierra Madre protocols. Not only do security holograms look like Sierra Madre personnel, they respond to threats around unauthorized personnel just as any conventional security guards would. They just shoot on sight, apparently. We should all, you should kill us all on sight. Security holograms use field of view sensors to perceive their environment and to aid in pathing. 
while well, later versions will feature upgrades that allow for a 360 perception arc, the memory cells in the current hologram emitters only perceive their environment and the cone in front of them. They can, however, change facing as needed and scan their environment for unauthorized activity. It is best to purchase security hologram emitters in pairs to cover a full view of the environment. A trespassers could conceivably use hologram blind spots to gain access to unauthorized areas, like we just did. Threat detection if security holograms detect an unauthorized guest or detect criminal action. They will display a warning caution light. Uh, caution color to the target. If you believe they ever display this color in error, immediately move away from the hologram's field of view until they resume their normal protocol. If the behavior persists, they will, engage, they will enter engagement mode, turn red, and attempt to subdue the target with their discharge movements. <coughs> Goddamn. As requested with service contract, NE has. And he has installed EBE systems in all Sierra Madre hologram emitters. Threat response. Often an intruder's natural response is to attack a security hologram either with fist or with a weapon. Yeah, we're just gonna go. Aha, we beat up a hologram. Sounds harder than it should have been. <laughs> Unfor or unfortunately, for the hologram's owner, all such. All such assaults are useless against security holograms. You, can, you cannot be wounded, damaged, or harmed unless their emitter is destroyed, like we just did. Uh, attackers spending the time spending the time to look for the emitters will usually be rendered unconscious by the hologram's discharge beams before they can disable them. So there's nothing to fear. I say that as I just. And disabled one without even attempting to fight one. And it went war to wonders because of their small cones of visions. Alright, uh, security protocols or patrols. Or whatever they As service pro holograms, security holograms cannot leave emitter ranges. They will pursue a target to the emitter's perimeter. <coughs> However, this usually allows the sub or target to be subjugated, uh, subdued and should present no obstacle to casino secure. Uh, point five, hologram emitters are sturdy. It can still be damaged or broken if enough force is applied. In addition, while they're protected in, uh, inside sturdy space age alloys, their circuits are vulnerable to being tampered with. This occurs, refer to the repair manual to, that comes with the hologram installation guide. Please call customer support services if this occurs. Do not attempt to repair the emitters yourself. Warning, do not approach an emitter that may have been tampered with. If you must, please wear reflective maintenance gear or metal armor in case of hologram malfunction and make sure that you, you can move beyond the hologram's field of view in case problems arise. Okay, so... Okay. And then maintenance post. Uh, installation maintenance welcome. And on behalf of your friends at NE, we thank you for purchasing the latest service and technolo uh, security technology. If you encounter any problems, contact our urgent care representatives at any time during the weekdays from 10 to 2 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. That's really slim. If no one is there to respond to your emergency, leave a message and one of our trained representatives will return your call in the next three to four working days. God, that's terrible fucking maintenance aid. Holographic uh, greeting and security uh, techni uh, technology requires service from trained professionals and routine maintenance. While the emitters maintain a charge for theoretically hundreds of years, damage can occur and circuits can erode over time. It's part of the secure... Security Madre exclusive contract we have delivered on the custom energy recycling emitters requested by the Sierra Madre financers and Mr. Sinclair. So they can't die in terms of power, not for a fucking long time. But they also can't do shit otherwise. Um, so we should keep an eye out for that emitter. Because there should be an emitter in these parts.
Who is there? Team, help me! A little lady approaching me! The woman looks at you, disoriented, pain. She blinks a few times and winces, as if in the act of blinking away the pain. Are you alright? She looks at you, blinks again, then opens her mouth, but nothing comes out. She touches her throat, then traces the scar beneath the chin, and her eyes widen in alarm. Did somebody... Mm. Look, I'm here to help. She looks shaken. As she glasses at the auto dock, she records and her mouth opens, but again, nothing comes out. She looks back at you and her hands clench in the fist. Her eyes narrow and she takes a b step back, studying you. Uh, this isn't what it looks like. She opens her mouth again, the winces then frowns and drags a fear across her throat in slow motion. She looks more angry at you. Frowning, she touches her throat again, gently, then her hand uh, brushes in her collar and then her frown deepens. She narrows as the trace the edge until she finds the lock. She begins to press it with her fingers. It's a bomb collar. Mm, don't, don't do that. She looks surprised and notices your collar and raises an eyebrow. Let's just say we're in this together. She frowns, narrows her eyes, and then slowly shakes her head. What do you mean by that? She shakes her head again, draws a line in between two of you. Look, together we can get out of this. She shakes her, she shakes her head once, then crosses her arms. Look, I'm not trying to order it, uh, you, but your life is tied to mine. She frowns, glances at the collar, looks back at you. She makes a circle with her hands, put her hand over her eyes, and da -da. she nods at you. Then she lowers her hands from there, shakes her head. She draws a slow line between you. You're looking for something else. Fine, I can help. She studies again, then her expression softens slightly. She shakes her head slowly and gives a slight sigh. She nods at you, then raises an eyebrow and nods at the door. Alright, uh, I'll meet you at the fountain, then we'll go from there. Gives you a brief nod, then turns and begins to walk. Alright! We gotta head back over there. Uh, stops, <laughs> God damn it! I'm fucking in the middle of the air, pal. Uh, she basically points out the speakers. It's a decayed speaker. If we stay too long near one, it will go off. She taps the collar, then opens and closes her hand really fast. She taps her collar, and then opens and closes her hand really fast. She points at your pit boy, your, her collar, and then your collar after a second. She opens and closes her hand slower. You can uh, interfere with the speaker's detonation frequency somehow. She is about to nod, then stops, pointing at herself, and shakes her head. She points at your collar, then hers, and nods at the pit boy. She makes a trailing, uh, and then the slow, uh, slow. Does it work with any other collar? She frowns, slowly shakes her head. She opens her mouth, and makes the motion of turning a dial. Then she points at herself. It's just your frequency. She nods once again, then again points at the two of you, then the pit boy. So uh, the combo, but only between us. She nods and motions for you to go ahead. <laughs> okay, you could have maybe caught me in a less... Like, that was very in in a inopportune for me. Going to Alright, pal. Putting you down. There's two of them. I need to take out the first one and then... That's the first one. Oh, fuck, that was a complete mess. Okay. We're fine. I'm gonna guess there's gonna be more of them showing up. Mia 
fucking cheese right away. off this video. Thank you guys for tuning in all that jazz like and subscribe. Comment down below and I'll see you in the next video and then have a great day.